Hello, and welcome to uh, Valkyrie's Interviews, um, where I get to talk to the amazing authors of the Valkyrie's Anthology. And today we have Christy Bradley. Hi, Christy. <laughs> so excited to have Happy you here. here. Yes. Um, Christy has made her way to us today through some ridiculous spring thunderstorms. So extra happy to have her here. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Hopefully we'll remain here. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This might get edited, guys. We don't know. We, we already <laughs> decided if there are um, there are sirens, we're just going to shut it down. And uh, Christy's going to get to a very safe place very quickly. We'll pick up again later. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Um, okay. So, Christy. As we jump in, so we're going to do some questions about you, some questions about your Valkyrie. Um, we have a speed round. That is not the order at all in which we're going to go. It's going to be great. Um, and we may go off on tangents because of who we are as people. Um, right? <laughs> so Exactly. With, yeah. So with that, uh, what do you write and why do you write it? Um, I write fantasy, just about any kind I can delve into. Um, it's more fun that writing fantasy. You can uh, create your own worlds and uh, your rules are better than reality. So, um, but I've written everything. This is my first um, delve into sci-fi actually, um, but I've written paranormal romance and mystery and suspense. I've, like I said, I like to dabble in everything. That's awesome. I love that. Um, and why? I mean, yes, it's fun, but is there any other reason? Well, it just depends on where the story takes me. Um, I might think I'm writing a romance and it might turn into horror. I mean, you just never know when you start writing. <laughs> um, um, it does me no good to make an outline because the story's going to go on its own route anyway. So, Oh, that's fair. That's fair. See, that's a question I don't ask is if people are planners or pantsers. Um, so I take it you're a pantser. Most, pants. For the most part. I do better if I just... I usually know where I want to start and I know where I want to end. Mm -hmm. I just don't know how I'm going to get there. <laughs> so I just Fair. type writer and let the story take me. I love it. I love it. Uh, what do you want people to know about your stories? Um, well, I hope my twisted little mind can relate to someone else's twisted little mind and help uh -huh. them escape and see beyond the ordinary and um, wonder what's next as I did while I was writing it. <laughs> We don't know where we're going to go. It's going to be great. For I, I do like things to have a twist. So um, you never know what's going to happen. Nice. I'm a big Jeffrey you. Beaver fan. And oh, he writes yeah. Um, he writes a twist in everything. And I'm very yeah. attracted to that. Please, Zeus, nice. do not start barking. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I have a house full of dogs and someone mm -hmm. just drove up and... <laughs> I yep. don't want the hallelujah chorus to start up. <laughs> <laughs> right. One starts, they all go. I, they do. I get it. I get that. Uh, so what is a book you just, you just mentioned an author you really love. What's a book you love to recommend or one that you are just super into right now? Um, I haven't had a chance to read anything lately, but my go-to when someone wants me to tell them what they should read, uh, I love Chelsea Kane's Gretchen Lowell series. Um, Gretchen is a serial killer and Archie is the cop who loves her. And she's written six books in that series and I love it. And I hope she continues that. Um, I also love Kim Harrison's The Hollows series mm -hmm. and by Karen Slaughter. Nice. Nice. That's a great range. <laughs> it's a wide range in it. Right? <laughs> I, love, I love that. Um, I feel like to write widely, we kind of have to read widely. So that makes total sense. Um, all right. So in Hit World, which is in uh, one of our authors, Rob Howell, recently called a genre gumbo universe, uh, we have a little bit of everything. Uh, in Hit World, Everyone, I love the preemptive shush to the dogs. Um, everyone has a knack or a talent. Oh, is it the storm? You good? We're good. Okay. <laughs> I think this is important. We cannot charge through if there are tornadoes. Um, in Hit World, everyone has a knack or a talent, and it just might be magical. What's yours? Um, my organizational skills. I am oh. so organized, I can find the perfect 
place for something that makes mm -hmm. perfect sense. And then mm -hmm. I won't have the sense to find it when I need it. <laughs> so the follow through, that's, that's where the magic. <laughs> <laughs> like I know this made perfect sense to me at the time. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Oh, okay. So that is an organization style much more up my, uh, much more up my alley. Cause I <laughs> like, oh, here's a brilliant place for this. So I'm so smart and I will never be this smart again. So I will never find it. <laughs> yes. I'm excellent at hiding things from myself. <laughs> it's a great and, and that old note, and you know, uh, I don't need to write that down. I'll remember. <laughs> totally. Oh, the lies we tell ourselves. My Man. daughter suggested I map the house so I can find what I need when I need it. <laughs> you know, it's not a bad idea. It's not really. <laughs> Just have like schematics up in the yeah. center. <laughs> Keys go here. Really good. Oh man, especially when that inspiration strikes you. Like I know this is the this is the best new place to put something. Exactly. Oh goodness. Um, <laughs> yep. Yeah. I've also lost files on my computer doing that. I'm like, oh, this is brilliant. I, look at look at how organized all my folders are. Wait, where did that go? I totally <laughs> relate. <laughs> <laughs> we need that magic to kick in and help us out here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. All right. It's so it's interesting. That's it. Well, we are. We're always surprised by ourselves, too. So. <laughs> exactly. Never boring. Never boring. Uh, okay, speed round. And these can be as fast or not fast as you like. Ready? Okay. What is your theme song? Hand in My Pocket by Alanis Morissette. Nice, nice. What is your go-to game night choice? Cards Against Humanity, because I love seeing how twisted your friends and family can actually be. That's awesome. Uh-huh. That checks out. Uh, no follow-up <laughs> questions. That doesn't seem to belong on the internet. Uh, what would the title of your life as a TV show be, or what sitcom would you star in? Oh, let's go with what sitcom I would star in. That would be Freaks and Geeks, but I'd rather be in Friends. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? They're very similar. Sorry, that might be heresy, but I like them both. Um, that's excellent. What is or are your favorite treats for yourself? Mm, let's see. I'm a big Hershey's chocolate girl. Um, whether it's in a bar or a kiss, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, and I love cheesecake. <laughs> oh my gosh. What's your favorite kind of cheesecake? Um, I like the snicker, the caramel snickerlicious or whatever it is, Cheesecake Factory does that incorporates the snicker bar mm -hmm. mm, yeah i love that <laughs> i mean to be fair i've never had a bad cheesecake but me either oh, it's so good i love that so much that's great now now i need cheesecake uh team beach team mountains nothing against mountains but i'm a beach girl just nice. got that not long ago <laughs> where were you oh uh, we went to gulf shores this year oh. we usually gravitate to the uh um Gulf area. Nice. We vacation. We always nice. talk about going to the Smoky Mountains and we always end up at the beach. <laughs> and then you go to the Gulf. You just pass them. You pass them on the way. It's fine. Do So on the beach, are you a like sit in the sun person? Are you a beach combing person? Are you a swimmer? What do you, what do, you do? Um, I don't get in the water a whole lot. I like to wade in it, um, mm -hmm. but I like to lay in the on the sand and read a book and nice. till I can't take the sun anymore and then I crawl under the canopy and <laughs> keep reading the book. <laughs> yes. yes. I don't know. There's something so satisfying about reading a book and listening to the waves at the same time. I don't. It's just perfect. It is. Now I need to go to the <laughs> beach and eat a cheesecake at the same time. Yes. Sandy cheesecake. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's my weekend. Uh, what are your favorite pizza toppings? Um, I'm a pepperoni extra cheese girl, but I like a Supreme every now and then too. Nice. Olives or no olives? Uh, no olives. Same. No mushrooms either. <laughs> <gasps> Gasp. No. Mushrooms are the best. No, that's fair. I claim I'm allergic so people don't give me a hard time over that. <laughs> that you know what? Gotcha. gotcha. Never, never really. It's the texture thing. I don't yeah. like seafood either. Don't hate me, mm -hmm. but I don't like seafood either. And it's the texture. I mean, that's fair. Everybody, everybody gets to like the things they like. 
Um, and that is important. So I wouldn't, give you, I might gasp, but no, no uh, hard times here. I mean, if you were like, I don't like pizza, I'd be like, wow, okay, reconsidering. <laughs> oh, yeah, now we got a problem. Right? Yeah, right? Like, whoa, this is too far. Uh, what fictional character would you choose as a mentor? I would love to have Rachel Morgan from Kim Harrison's uh, The Hollow series. I would love to have her as a mentor. Nice. What would you hope to learn she's, from her? She's just a badass woman. And she's more together than she realizes. And that's what I like about her. <laughs> nice. nice. She pushes herself a lot, but she's really together. That's awesome. I love that. Uh, morning or night person? Um, I've always been a night person, but the older I get, the more I become a morning person by default. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'll stay up late if I Life can. Life doesn't always have patience for her. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Even if you have to get up early the next morning. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> yep. I, this is, I, um, <clears throat> I feel like we have some of these things in common. Christy, <laughs> so <laughs> fair. Yep. Um, okay. So for folks, um, we're recording all of these in advance, so I'm not sure what order you're getting them in. Um, but as we are leading up to the release of the very first Hit World of Valkyries anthology, um, we are going to tease all of our soon to be, badass in the world Valkyrie characters. Um, and so we're going to spend some time talking about those with each of these amazing authors. So Christy, how would you introduce your Valkyrie to the world? Both the storm and the calm after meet Kimber Barrett. Oh, dang. Very mm -hmm. nice. I like <laughs> that you practiced it. I love it. Um, <laughs> what, what are three words that describe her? Mm, she's authentic, she's resolved, and she's clever. Nice. It's a good combo. Uh, what inspired the development of her? Well, when I first heard the premise of the hit world, mm -hmm. um, I wanted to write from the target's point of view. And um, you get a little bit of both worlds in mind. Um, but yeah, I wanted I wanted people to see it from the target's point, and in my case, um, it's you know the target's blues is the result. That's a less <laughs> you know. okay. Okay, yeah, no spoilers, no spoilers. Um, well, so I, that probably has to do with the plot of your story too, right? So as you think about that that combo of prepping for Kimber and prepping for the storyline, you knew the beginning and the end. Is there anything else that influenced that story? Mm. Gosh, I don't have a good answer for that. You already um, had a good answer. I was just asking you follow-up questions. Well, it's just, um, I don't know. I just, I sat down and I originally was writing from a male point of view, and then when um, Bill told me y'all were going to start Valkyries, I sh it shifted gears, nice. and it totally re reframed the project. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, it would have been looked a whole lot different from a male's perspective. Um, oh, sure. But it, it just felt like serendipity when I started actually writing and I was like, oh, this is how it needs to be, you know. Nice. And it went and went from there. <laughs> nice. Who so without spoilers, um, you, you get two points of view in the story. You get Kimber and you get the target. Yes. Um, whose voice was more clear in your head when you were writing it? Um, Cora's was clear when I first started. Mm -hmm. Um and Kimber's came roaring in uh, right after and was yeah. ready to just step in and take over. <laughs> so that feels very Kimber, cool. actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that that checks out. Okay. I, I feel like that played out a little bit. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, what actor or actors would be perfect to play one of these characters? Oh, I would love to see Jennifer Garner as Cora oh and maybe... Um, Anna Kendrick for um, Kimber. I think they would play well off of each other. They super would. Have they ever been in anything together? I don't think so. They Not that I recall. Amazing. Oh, that's a, 
That's a great combo. I would love to see that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's very, that is very cool. Um, and so folks, a couple of answers ago, I just realized Christy mentioned Bill. Um, so I was introduced to Christy thanks to Bill Webb, uh, the creator of Hit World, um, along with Larry Hoy. Um, they are both incredible gentlemen. Mm -hmm. um, Bill is always, we raved about him on another interview um, and we'll probably rave about him here and again uh, because he's so great. <laughs> he is. He, uh, he, he is so about connecting great writers um, and also encouraging, like really helping us all step up our game, which is mm -hmm. really cool. Um, and Christy, I don't, I should have asked you this before we, you know, got on the video. Um, but you had said that this story was kind of kick kickstarting you back into writing again. Is that? It is. Um, I was prepared to quit. In fact, I had quit. I shut <laughs> down. I left my website up just mm -hmm. because I still had things out there that were published, but I shut down my author page on Facebook. I just pretty much I had a bad experience, had several actually. And um, then I got sick and I just was kind of like, you know what? I think I'm just done. Yeah. And out of the blue, Bill contacted me one day and um, he was like, no, you, you can't quit. I'm not having it. And here we are. <laughs> Here we are. And, Bill Webb. <laughs> when I sent you my story, I was just like, God, this is awful. She's not going to like it. You know, I was just really. And when you were like, hey, this is going in the book, I was like, and yeah, I told you, you you just saved me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, it was a good story. Thanks. Cora yeah, and Kimber, you two, yeah. you two are responsible, so it's their fault. You can blame Bill Webb and <laughs> we'll blame Bill. I'll get credit. Bill gets blame. I think that's how we're gonna do this Valkyries thing. Just anything you guys don't like is totally Bill's fault. Everything that's great, just kidding. That's right. That's the way yeah. to get you. <laughs> just kidding, guys. Bill is really phenomenal. He um, is. Yeah, that's. I'm. I'm so glad that worked out. Like I. Kimber and Cora's voices are so clear and so distinct in the story that it is, it is clear to me that you should be writing. Um, so mm -hmm. for what that's worth. Well, thank you. Uh, well, I'm working on another Bill Webb project as we speak. So wow, <laughs> that's, it'll continue. that's how he gets you. Yes. yes. That's, yes. He, he pulls you in and then he's like, mm -hmm. Hey, what do you think about this? And you're like, of uh -huh. course. <laughs> I'm not a fool. <laughs> right. The answer is yes. And then later is the panic and figuring out how it fits in your schedule. But the answer yeah. is always yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Because I've, I've been, I was writing and I just could not seem to get my story together. And so I started working on something else. Now the cat's up here. Um, so I started working on something else and mm -hmm. it was just blowing word counts, writing from eight in the morning until eight at night and just, just couldn't seem to stop. And, and he said, well, you're writing the story you need to write. And I was like, yeah, that would be true if it wasn't for, you know, I have a deadline. Hello. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then a few days later, I realized I am writing the story I'm supposed to write. It's his story. Uh, <laughs> I realize it. So Look at how that works. I was like, <laughs> that is awesome. That's awesome. That's really cool. Kind and you have to. Out. Yeah. I mean, I know. So. I can, I can get a little precious about writing sometimes where I'm like, oh, I just am not feeling inspired or I'm feeling, mostly it's, I'm feeling like an imposter. Um, and so I can't get my brain to remember how words work. Um, and so there is like, on the one hand, a, a really great author whose name is totally escaping me right now. But if you recognize their names as you're listening, you like recognize these words, go ahead and call me out in the comments. I just can't remember who it was. But it's something like writer's block is BS. Like when, when I, when I worked at whatever office job, like I couldn't call in, like I wasn't feeling up to spreadsheeting or whatever. I was like, okay, okay. Yep. That is, that is a good point. Sometimes you just have to like power hold through yourself anyway. accountable. Yeah, yeah. Hold yourself accountable. And so it's not either or it's, and sometimes you just got to follow that energy. So like there's, this is the story that you need to be writing right now because otherwise your brain's like, I don't know how words. Right. No words. 
So yeah, you're like, how do people do this all day? Yeah. <laughs> I have nothing. <laughs> what if I just type and and commas and comma and 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 that's a whole sentence now. <laughs> so if you're blowing word counts and writing all day, then yeah, you're that's the project you need to be doing. Yeah. Deadline or no. That's really scary. Wait for the light bulb to turn on. <laughs> yes. And because it's often when you're when you get that energy going, then like it's easier to do the next thing, right? Because you're you've got this momentum and you're doing the thing. I mean, yes. <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. So speaking of Bill Webb, which we totally were, um, what is your favorite thing about Hit World, your Valkyrie, and or badass ladies in general? Okay. Hit World is just so easy to drop into and pick up. So much fun. And it's, you're given so much leeway, mm -hmm. you know, how can you not love it, you know? <laughs> and yeah. uh, it's just easy, easy world to play in. Um. Let's see. My Valkyrie. I love the connection both my Valkyrie and my Target share. And the readers mm -hmm. will understand that later. Mm -hmm. um, and as far as badass ladies, I think Princess Leia in Star Wars said it best. Well-behaved women rarely defeat empires. There you are. There you are. I love that. I love that. <laughs> and I, I also love, like, when they're like Leia, like Carrie Fisher as a human, like, people <laughs> you're not perfect you're not exactly. like, your entire personality isn't badass female it's yes there's vulnerability you know and to be able to show both sides is i think what makes it even more badass yeah that's right and you know not well behaved great starting point an excellent starting point as a matter of fact <laughs> that's so good all right christy what should i have asked you that i didn't you can find me at christybradley.com. That's a Christy with a K and an I. <laughs> and we will we'll have those links um, under the video too, for sure, for sure. What should they be looking for since you're working on all these other projects? Um, well, I'm working on a Bill Webb project, but I don't know if I can say anything oh. about exactly what it is right now. Secrets, um, secrets, got it. But um, other than the Valkyrie story, um, I have some other things in works, um, but I'm not quite ready to tell you what they are. <laughs> Secret. <laughs> Secrets. That's fair. But, uh, you know, you can find the short stories. I've got, I've had several published um, and some in more award-winning anthologies and all those can be found on my website. So go take a look. That's excellent. That's a good one. Uh, all right. What question or questions do you have for me? You wrote, this is not your first foray into the hit world. Oh, no. Who is your first Valkyrie? Oh, what a great question. Um, my first Valkyrie is Dahlia. Um, she is in the first hit world anthology, um, at You Pay, We Slay. Mm -hmm. um, and Dahlia, <laughs> I, I love her. Um, so Dahlia actually started off as an entirely different character for a story that I wrote for another anthology um, that actually didn't, it didn't work. It was meant to be a science fiction anthology and I wrote a fantasy story and then I rewrote a, I wrote a whole other story in like two weeks and it's great. Everything's wonderful. However, I still had this character and I was kind of obsessed with her. And then Bill said, hey, we've got this anthology coming up in Hit World. Um, and I think I think we had talked a little bit about Valkyries, but it wasn't a real thing yet. Um, or maybe we had just talked about like women taking more of a role in Hit World or something. And so I was like, well, I've got this character. What if I file off the serial numbers? Um, but then I was, I was talking to Bill. And so one thing that Bill, Bill is incredible at so many things. One thing that he is just phenomenal at is brainstorming mm -hmm. um, and really like helping draw out good ideas from from authors because not just me like I've, I've heard this from a couple of other people i see you nodding like yeah. he's just yes incredibly insightful and thoughtful and talented at this um and so we we're talking through this character that i had in this story that i couldn't use um and he's like well how how would you make it hit world and so i was like oh maybe this maybe that and he's like oh or maybe you know yes and maybe this thing and all of a sudden 
Dahlia was full and complete in my head. Um, we talked about the kind of role that she might play at mm -hmm. Life Enders International because she's not really a shooter. Um, she's a, a medical examiner. I mean, she she checks out the the weirdo <laughs> bodies that come in to second class shooters in Hit World. Um, and then she gets pulled into doing stuff beyond her comfort level. And Dahlia's comfort level is very important because she's afraid of what happens if she gets past it. So, um, you know, she hasn't murdered anybody without cause yet, but she might. And uh, <laughs> so we're going to see Dahlia again. <laughs> we're going to see Dahlia again. Yeah. Um, Dahlia is not my character in the anthology. Um, that is Bryn Siegmund, who is going to be the head of the Valkyries Initiative. Um, but Bryn and Dahlia have an interesting dynamic. So we will definitely be seeing Dahlia. <laughs> Again, we'll be to <laughs> Dahlia is salty. I would say most of my characters are sassy or salty or snarky in some way or another. Nothing to do with me whatsoever. I'm very kind and sweet and, and polite at all times. Um, but they, uh, <laughs> Dahlia definitely has a, a level of snark um, to her that we will likely. I can't not write. I mean, which is fun. Right, right. <laughs> Thank That's you, Brad. It's awesome. It's fun. But I agree. Hit World is so much fun to write in. It is. Like, as you think, without giving spoilers for your story, as you think about future stories in Hit World and Hit World Valkyrie, Valkyries, is there any piece of the universe that you're like, mm, I definitely want to do more with this? What piece of the universe? I'm sorry. Or just anything. Yeah. Like, is there something you're like, I can't wait to play with this aspect? Oh, man. <laughs> so many. So right? many. <laughs> Absolutely. I love uh, that. Yeah. I think there's, there's room for, gosh, there's room for so much. I mean, then we got dragons. Mm -hmm. um, gosh, it's so endless. I can't pick just one. Um, <laughs> it's totally fair. It does everything, everything that could exist. Yeah. Because, wow, I, you know, I don't know if I don't even want to think about it right now. I, okay. It just sends my <laughs> mind in too many directions and I'll never get anything done. <laughs> you have enough projects. I get it. Nope, that's fair. <laughs> You're like the answer is yes. That there yes. are parts. Period. Yes. That's, yes, that's I would definitely like. love to explore further. That is awesome. Definitely. That is that is awesome. And I think there's gonna be plenty of opportunities. Like it's a it's a pretty expansive universe. It is. That's it awesome. is. I mean, just look at how many authors are already involved now. And there's so many voices and so many different ways to tell a story. It's just awesome. Yeah, I really do. I love that about um, shared universes in general because it it makes them feel like a real world because you have different perspectives, you have different voices, exactly. you have different. Yeah, like you think about even our existing non fantasy world, like you can tell in any given day, you can tell a tragedy, you can tell a comedy, you can tell a noir, you can tell. Um, I mean, I guess maybe not like science fiction because it's our life, but like you can tell any kind of tone. And so when you have that with different authors in a shared world, you get to really play with that. And that's yes. super fun. And to play off each other. It's, it's just, just awesome. Oh my gosh. Agreed. Agreed. Like I can't wait. So the anthology is um, almost entirely Valkyrie's origin stories. So where each of these characters kind of gets their start or something that is the epitome of their Valkyrie-ness, like why they would be picked to be in the Valkyrie initiative or recruited. Um, I am excited for future stories where we start to see them interact with each other. Oh, because, yeah. Because, oh, these ladies, I mean, I'm biased, but this is going to be fun. Like, we're going to have a lot of fun with this. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> it can't go anywhere but up. <laughs> I mean, you just keep, it's just more shenanigans and... What is Hit World if not a world of intense shenanigans? I think exactly. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, Christy, thank you so much for joining us today to talk about you and your Valkyrie. It's so good to have you here. Well, thanks for having me. I enjoyed it.
You are so welcome. Um, folks, you'll see again, Christy's links, they'll be right below us. Um, I'm guessing when this is posted, um, check out her other stories. She's an award-winning author. Um, and stay tuned for more author interviews and this summer, the Valkyries Anthology. Thanks for joining us. Bye. <laughs>